Hello, today I'm going to explain how to do the learning contract for verbs, which is um, a new style of assignment that we have that's part of our journals for week six. So in the week six folder number three, you will see journals, verbs learning contract due Sunday, June 28. So this is a little bit different from your regular journals. This document is attached and it explains some of the reasons why we are doing this labor contract. The reason is that when we um, practice and spend time practicing our grammar and working on improving either our knowledge of grammar rules, but more importantly, our ability to use those rules in our own writing, that's a better use of our time than, than a test or a quiz or something like that. So the only thing you need to do to um, get a B for this topic, for this grammar topic, you don't have to take any quiz or any test. You just need to complete three hours of work. Or if you complete four hours, you can get an A. So this is going to be due, um, actually, this will be due on Sunday, June 28th. Sunday, June 28th. Okay, so let's review a little bit about how it worked. We talked about Swiss cheese, which means that everyone has different holes or gaps in their knowledge, in their second language knowledge. So the first part I'm trying to ask you to consider what are your gaps where you need to do more practice with verbs is it present perfect is it the passive is it modals like would so identify those in your own writing okay you should practice then practice using one of these two software programs that we have available for free we have writing in english and tense buster and there's some videos there that show you how to use them um, but maybe some of you remember um, that we can go here and we can see a lot of um, verb practice in writing in english um, it's the first topic um, and in tense busters it closed but um, there are you can practice almost any verb tense in english so um, all you need to do here is record your time. So imagine that I go here and I did 60 minutes here and then I did 30 minutes here. Maybe not. Okay. Um, or maybe I did 30, 30 minutes one day and then 30 minutes another day, whatever it is. And then I'm going to write my total time here. So 30, 30, 30, one and a half, 145, one hour, 45 minutes. So I'm like well on the way. So for my first journal, and I can write that, either make some space in the document and write it here, or I could go ahead and um, make a new document and attach it, however you prefer to do your journals. We're going to write for 15 minutes about this topic. Write about which activities you did and which verb tenses you practiced, which ones were difficult or easy, and why. So that's really what I'm going to write about for 15 minutes, okay? I practiced um, passive voice because I never really studied this. Okay, and I will explain a little bit. What did I practice? What did I learn and why? Okay, whatever you write, it's just free writing. Get it done um, 15 minutes, okay? The next sort of principal type of activity that we're going to do is about transfer. So remember we talked about how sometimes we have a lot of grammar rules in our head, especially verb rules, but we're, we don't always we're not always able to use them or access them when we are actually writing. So that's called transferring, moving those rules from our brain onto the paper. So here are some activities that can help you do this. You can learn how to edit your writing and especially how to edit verbs. All you have to do is watch these two videos and take some notes um, and write what time you did that. Okay. Now let's say you say, oh, I'm so tired of watching videos. Why does Kathleen always make a video for everything? Don't watch it. Skip that one. You don't have to do everything. As a reminder, you don't have to do everything. Let's just say it one more time. You don't have to do everything, okay? Just do the activities that are most important to you. So there's supposed to be some freedom here for you to choose, okay? Um, here's another activity you could do. You could edit your journals by going back to week two, three, or four, or five, actually, in the course. Open your journal, circle 20 verbs, and check them. Repeat it several times, okay? You could also go to this website, Grammarly, and register for a free account. 
Um, you, would, you can copy and paste one paragraph from your journal and see what suggestions Grammarly makes. If I have time, I will make a video and add it um, about how to use Grammarly, but otherwise I'm just going to trust you that you can Google it. If you're not sure how to do one of, um, at least try to do one of these, okay, so that you can get some time. Again, you would record and then you would have journal two. So you would go ahead and type journal two. It says, when you look at your own writing, what do you see patterns of mistakes or mistakes that you repeat a lot? What types of patterns and why do you think you have those patterns? So this is a question, another question for you to write about for 15 minutes. And you can, again, you can put it right here in this document or you can create a new document and upload several of those for your journal. Okay, the last part that we're talking about is the last type of activity is balancing fluency and accuracy. So some people are able to write very quickly and write a lot, but sometimes that means they have a lot of mistakes. Some people are write very slowly and they fix almost everything. But that's a problem too because you don't want to write so, so slowly. We need you to work on your fluency. So these are some activities to help you balance those two. Okay, so these activities are, there's a writing um, prompt where you just write for five minutes about the past, present, and future of one of these topics. Write quickly, don't think too much about grammar. And then for 15 minutes after that, you can circle the verbs and check if you use them correctly. Okay, you can also copy a paragraph from your at-home writing in class writing or a journal. Copy it two times. On the second copy, make any changes you think will improve. And if you want to make another activity to practice verbs, something completely different, maybe you watched some different verbs on YouTube, maybe you have a grammar book that you studied or something from another class, just tell me what it is here and write about what it was and how it helped you. So here, again, we have three, journal number three. Okay, so journal number three, thinking back from last week and this week, all the things that you did, what was the most helpful for you in learning verbs? That's the question. Why did it help you to learn and what did not help you to learn? Okay, and then if you are trying to get that bonus one hour for, for an A, you would want to turn in one paragraph above. Um, so that means you could turn in one of your paragraphs about um, the past, present, and future of transportation, for example. Or if you um, revised a paragraph, you could turn that in as Journal 4. Okay, so when you finish this assignment and, and you're totally completing this assignment, you're going to post it right here, just like you post any assignment. You can see these are the four journals that you need to attach. Okay, one, two, three, four. I'll try to fix the formatting, but maybe not. <laughs> and then you need to also attach this. So it can be one big document or it can be several smaller documents. So I know this is new and I know this is um, a different way of doing things. I hope the reasons that we're doing it make sense. But I want to make sure that you let me know if you have any questions um, or um, anything that's not clear. So as a reminder, the main goal is for you to just spend time really focusing on verbs and how to improve your use of them in your writing. Okay, so thank you very much. Your turn. Okay, that's...